What's up guys, Matt Brandenburg here with Brakeham Racing. Pema Direct recently sent me a 4K action camera, Ultra HD action camera, and uh, we were asked to do a review on it, and so far pretty impressed with it for sure. It's uh, $64.99, it runs 4K uh, resolution at 30 frames per second, which is awesome. It also does 120 frames per second slow motion at 720p. Uh, it comes with a lot of accessories that would cost quite a bit of money with the competitor's camera, um, which is definitely cool. In, uh, the manual comes in multiple languages, uh, of course English as well, with uh, complete, complete directions about everything regarding the camera, all the information, all the settings. Uh, there's quite a few features, so there's definitely some information that would be needed. Uh, the camera looks exactly as you would expect it to. Um, it's nice quality, it looks exactly like the competitor's camera. It's got an LCD built into the back. Um, two buttons on the side there, control Wi-Fi and selection, power and mode on the front, and then your selection and record button on the top, the lens there. It's got uh, Wi-Fi um, so that you can stream and can uh, view the video from your iOS or Android mobile device. Um, it also has HDMI out, so you can do HDMI out to a external display and view the video through an external monitor while you are recording also has USB on the side there so you could actually charge it uh, via USB while you were also recording so that you had, would have unlimited battery life. I did that earlier. <clears throat> That's the battery uh, compartment there. It's pretty easy to open. You just slide that, pop that open and pull the battery out. You can replace it. It comes with two batteries. It comes with the USB charge cable which hooks up USB into the wall power cable unit which is an international unit which comes with the US adapter also works in Europe. All right. So you hook that to that right there in order to have a charging unit there. Also comes with a clip so that you could clip it onto a hat or well, just about anything, a uh, shirt for example, whatever. Probably meant for a the hat of uh, like a the bill of a hat or something, something firm that would actually hold it cuz the shirt would probably flop around a bit. And then this would go in the case. You could do an open, open mount case like this, uh, so you'd get better audio if you would take the camera and put it in there instead of uh, using the enclosed case, which is also provided, of course. But if you were to use that one, um, you would definitely have a worse audio condition. This is usually for like um, if you're going to stick it on a car or something. All you'll get is wind noise anyways at speed like that. So if you're going to do something that would also have audio, you'd want to use a case like this for sure comes with a few of the adhesives. It comes with two of these, but we used one earlier um, in a demonstration shoot with the camera. It comes with a few extensions and elbows so you can make it longer and also turn it different directions. So you can put a few of those. Also comes with a roll bar or handlebar mount. Uh, it could be used in a race car with a roll bar mount or a bicycle handlebar, for example, and a rotating mount. So if you were to mount that, uh, to the camera and then mount that to another bracket, you could spin it and lock it into place, get a different angle. There's the packaging. I was really impressed with this, especially with the uh, new version 2 design. This has got 4K at 30 frames per second. The last one was only 15 frames per second, so it wasn't really usable. You had to run it at 2.7K resolution, but this model <coughs> with 30 frames per second is totally usable for actually video editing um, into a 4K resolution video, absolutely no problem. And the quality looks pretty awesome as you will see uh, in the demonstration video we shot. But that is everything that comes with the kit. There are other options available, I believe. They said you could upgrade um, to two different versions that came with more accessories. But um, this base kit at under $65 with all this stuff is definitely uh, quite a steal. We run a lot of cameras and I would definitely buy this and use it for the action sequences that might, uh, especially the ones that might lose a camera, this would be a great solution for that. And I'll show you some of the footage here coming up. Have a good day.